Welcome back. It's now 920. A South Texas town put on the map now that they are a test site for SpaceX. Commercial space company is building rockets on the border of the U.S. and Mexico in the town of Boca Chica in the Rio Grande Valley. As construction moves along, traffic is increasing, especially now that the latest rocket prototype is visible to neighbors and drivers. GMS 89 Stephanie Huerta spent time this week in Boca Chica with a look at the project. When Maria Pointer moved to Boca Chica, she never imagined what the town could become. The last time we spoke, it was about three years ago. What's changed since? A lot of traffic, more traffic, more trucks, more uh, uh, interested uh, fans of Elon Musk. Pointer lives next to the construction of the Starship Hopper prototype. They've built a rocket. <laughs> it's all part of a vision of SpaceX CEO Elon Musk in a tweet. Musk said they will first conduct vertical flight tests. Once complete, SpaceX will build an orbital version of the rocket ship. Not only are locals coming to get a peek. Oh, I think it's great. It's putting the valley on the map. But visitors are curious too. When we first drove up, I saw it before he did. I was amazed it was so close. Because this location is under two miles from the Rio Grande, security was one of the topics discussed during the planning of the SpaceX facility. I remember when we were meeting with like Homeland Security and, and some of those, uh, you know, Border Patrol and all those uh, uh, federal agencies, they also said having a company like this out there is just going to ha help us have more boots and eyes on the ground. Gilberto Salinas was part of the team that helped bring SpaceX to Texas while serving on the Brownsville Economic Development Council. There's a huge amount of dirt that's been out there for a while. They're letting it naturally settle. And that's where they're going to build you know, the platform where the rockets will get launched. And adjacent to that, you have these two huge uh, SB satellite antenna dishes. But why Boca Chica? Salinas says it's geography. Boca Chica is one of the southernmost points in the country. Four, three, two, one. Lift off. From there, they could launch in an easterly direction or a large body of water and shoot that gap between Cuba and Florida and then off into space. As a neighbor, Pointer knows there will be growing pains. We've had to block our driveway and had to talk to SpaceX about the traffic flow and it's got a lot of people worried. But as a space exploration fan herself, she knows it's about a bigger mission. Long-term goal is to create the technology necessary to uh, uh, take humanity beyond Earth, to take humanity to Mars. Reporting from Boca Chica, Tiffany Huertas, KSAT 12 News. One of the big beneficiaries of this project is the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley, which collaborated with SpaceX. They have a partnership known as Stargate, which gives students the opportunity to research and learn about the space exploration industry. Cool stuff. When asked about when the first hopper test will take place, Elon Musk tweeted, aiming for four weeks, which probably means eight <laughs> weeks due to unforeseen issues. And speaking of those unforeseen issues, Tiffany Huertas joins us in the studio with a bit of an update. Yeah, this is this interesting. Is kind of. Yeah, so on Monday and Tuesday, we were out there in Boca Chica reporting. It was very windy, as you all reported down here, yeah. up here. So the next day we came back yesterday morning. I got a call from Maria Pointer. This is a picture I took when we were there on Monday. Okay. Uh -huh. And now if we take a look over here, this is a picture uh -oh. she sent to us. Now Pointer shared these pictures and the wind gusts were so powerful it broke the rocket free of its mooring blocks, knocking it on its side and causing damage that would take a few weeks to repair, according to Musk. He tweeted this. He said the rocket's actual tanks are just fine, but the pictures they tell shows, us yeah, the, the story. Us. Those are some really powerful winds, and I think Justin has more on these winds and that yeah. took down a rocket ship. It did. The winds were impressive not only here, but really across the whole southern part of Texas. And we've got some numbers in on just how strong those winds were. You, you got to think uh, these winds were pretty incredible to be able to knock over that uh, rocket like it did. So let's take a look. Down in the valley, we had wind gusts anywhere from 46 to 45, 46 miles per hour. Some reports may be up close to 50. And that had to do with that last front that moved through. And we know what it felt like here. It caused even more issues down there in the valley, and that's why we saw some of that damage. Thankfully, the winds have relaxed a little bit down there. They've relaxed here as well, and uh, maybe they'll be able to uh, get back to work and uh, build on what they started there. Guys? I think they'll probably be fine.
Yeah. And what I think is very neat is that Justin reported on SpaceX a few years back as well. Mm -hmm. And yeah. you saw to see the development, it's incredible. It's, it's gone a long way. It's taken a lot of time, but it's, 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 a, it's a big project. So well, it's, it's the patience is going to pay off at that. The fact that Texas has a piece of this project is huge. Huge. Yeah. And that poor woman who lives next to it, though, she's got some growing pains, as it's she some said. Growing but pain. it's history <laughs> in the making. Yeah. <laughs> at yeah. least she admits that.